Speaking of Boris Leo, he's been accused of dithering over windfall tax. I, I picture him in a sort of court, ha, red-handed scrumping apples or something in this kind of wind, when I see Boris yeah. and windfall in the same... Yeah, yeah, and I've, I've got no doubt that Boris in his uh, earlier years uh, ran out of Waitrose with various <laughs> uh, bottles and cans. Up his but, big uh, yeah, yeah. But Keir Starmer has uh, taunted Boris, uh, saying that he can't make his mind up about a uh, windfall tax. That was an impression of Keir <laughs> that was Starmer spot there. Spot on. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, about a windfall tax on huge energy firm profits, uh, and uh, says Keir is saying as inflation hits nine percent, um, the, the prime minister has refused to say if he will consider the levy which Labour says would raise £2 billion to cut bills and ease the cost of living crisis. Yeah. But, I mean, a couple of things. Uh, you know, that's a relatively tiny number in terms of government coffers. £2 billion isn't a lot of money. Uh, and, really, that energy investment is incredibly risky. If you're an oil firm, you've got to pay for the exploration. Uh, you, you don't know if the oil you, you get out, you're going to be able to sell it. You know, yeah. During lockdown, the oil price actually went negative. Yes. So people had to, oil companies had to pay to store their oil or, or somebody to take that it away. That is true. Like yes. a mattress in Walthamstow. Um, it's also... Um, you know, we need to encourage more People exploration. People fly tipping their petrol. Yeah, yeah, literally pouring it into the canal. <laughs> you know, like a like a bag of uh, empty cans. But but wanted puppies. Yeah, why, why don't we have a levy on the people who are making billions and billions of pounds during lockdown? Why isn't there a levy on Netflix or Facebook or these, these companies that are Deliveroo, these companies that made so much money test and during trace. lockdown? Have a, yeah, test have a levy on that. These, these companies that got like enormous, exorbitant billion. PP, PPE contracts, why don't, we, why don't we have a levy? Why don't we claw back some of that money that was handed over to Matt Hancock's landlord? Or, you I, know. I, I, I quite endorse that. But I think it's a tricky one with oil because I, I do know what you mean. And we have to encourage people to think that oil is a, uh, a profitable business so that they invest in it so mm. that they w will be able to turn this corner. On the other hand, it does seem to have been a fairly safe investment over the years, doesn't yeah. it? it feels, no, I've, no, no, that is not. No, I've, I've invested in oil. Oh, okay. and I've <laughs> lost a lot of money. Now and I don't want to see now, now, now there's a chance of like getting a tiny, <laughs> a tiny bit of money. And the government's coming and be like, no, no, we're going to have a. Well, it's but not the, the government thing doing is, it. I mean, putting aside your, your woes on the stock exchange, people have a very distorted view, generally speaking, of who is benefiting. Most of yeah. the investors in oil companies are pension companies. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's our own money. It's our yeah. own chance of, of being able to eat when we're a bit older. Yeah, you and know, unions, institutions. So, I mean, it's, yeah. not, it's not a few billionaires Top in a castle. Uh, yeah, it's not yeah, Mr Burns making this What do you, what do you think, Eric? You, well, what, I, mean, I think I mean, we're going to see a lot of that money, I would imagine, the oil companies have given back to shareholders. So I don't think they're going to invest all of it in the future. No. I think the only way to separate Boris, it seems, from his loyalty to the oil companies is maybe convince him that he's married to an oil company ah. and then he'll want to leave the oil company yeah, and then yeah. tax them. Yeah. But it, I mean, or maybe this is the way Boris flirts. He's like, will he, will he tax them? <laughs> Won't he tax them? He's just going back and forth. He I, doesn't I, seem, I, he I mean, Rishi has been, has been uh, hedging his bets more than Boris in a sense, hasn't he? It feels like it would be his decision. But even he, who is a, a, a capitalist, I think, mm. instinctively and yeah. certainly, you know, protects his wife's Billions. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't we have a levy on Rishi Sunak's wife? And that, that, she, that would clear it up. Wouldn't yeah, it? That, that's a lot more than oil companies. I was going to say it probably would.